Okay, Yuri, well, welcome to the air show. And we've known each other for quite a few years now, and you know I really like the A22 and the A32 for that matter. But you know, over the years, I don't think I've ever asked you why you like the A22. Well, uh, I like A22 because a uh, long time ago we uh, created this design, and uh, afterward, the machine created our company. So it is first our successful production model. We already made more than 900 airplanes like this and sold it all over the world. And I'm uh, felt, uh, thankful very much for this mm. airplane. Yes, and I'm happy we, we developed it a long yes. time ago. Yeah, and the flight characteristics of the A22 is a good safe airplane. Yes, I'm pilot, I'm test pilot of our company and uh, what can I say, it is a very good uh, airplane for beginners, so it's uh, forgiven and can uh, save, it already saved a lot of lives mm -hmm. uh, during uh, operation. Right. And uh, on our hand, it, it can give a lot of opportunities for experienced pilots. Yes, I've always said that uh, for a, an ab initio trainer, it seems like a very easy plane to fly, and uh, and yet at the same time, I'm aware of mustering pilots out in outback Australia with several thousand hours, and the things they do with that plane is just amazing, really. The precision and the accuracy they seem to be able to fly is just magic. Um, and what about this plane, the A32? How how is this? How does it fly so much quicker than the A22? Uh, what can I say? Uh, the design of A22, uh, first sketch, was made in 1990. Right. So, let's yeah. say 28. Yeah, a long time. 29 ago. years ago. Oh, yeah. So, and the design of A22 based on our early design, tube and fabric design. Yeah. All right. So, the design of a fuselage A22, it's just consists of several uh, bent uh, aluminium profiles. Yes. So they work instead of aluminium tubes. Yeah. All right. So it was idea. Yeah. But it, it is just old idea. Mm -hmm. So in sometimes when we started to produce A22, uh, it was successful, a lot of uh, orders and customers, but we, reali we realized that we can develop more efficient airplane. Mm -hmm. So we knew uh, uh, we knew uh, features of A22 very much, and so we decided to make a new fuselage. And in the beginning, of the project called it uh, A22 new fuselage. Yes. Only. Yeah. <laughs> so and the idea was to 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 increase uh, uh, top speed just for 10 kilometers an hour so but we worked well and uh, when we uh, tested uh, the prototype in first flight I reached uh, 200 kilometers plus so in first flight yeah. 20 kilometers plus Already. compared to yeah. A22 top yeah. speed yeah. then uh, thanks to you know uh, development of uh, fairings and uh, we call it local aerodynamic. <laughs> yeah. So we managed to get one more uh, 10 kilometers an hour. 30 kilometers. So 30, 30, 35. Wow. With yeah. good yeah. expensive yeah. prop. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And so in the result, we uh, uh, managed to create very efficient airplane, mm -hmm. and uh, it goes fast. The, it burns less fuel and it flies as fast, even faster than some composite low wing machine. Yeah, yeah, it certainly does. I mean, I've found that in experience. When the first one came to Australia, everyone said there is no way a Foxbat, an A22, can fly that fast. Uh, and the first thing I said, well, it is not an A22, it's an A32, come and fly it. And they were amazed that you could fly at, you know, maybe in knots, 110 knots, and it stalled slower than the A22. And uh, I think that's quite amazing. I mean, I think it's a tribute to you, Yuri, that you 
you've got the A22 very right. I mean, even now the A22 is a nice plane to fly. It, it works well, it's safe, it handles nicely. And to be able to improve so much on that with this aircraft is, is just amazing. Um, tell me, in terms of support for the A22, are you planning to carry on making that or supporting it into the future? Uh, you know, A22 is still very good airplane yeah, and yeah. we we still make it we have quite a good demand mm -hmm. from uh, you know different uh, different uh, countries mm -hmm. and it is very suitable for initial training mm -hmm. and uh, our uh, flying schools all world our customers so we do not plan to stop production of A22 and even if we uh, stop production of A22, it's, it will happen, you know, Eventually, it's our life. Yeah, yeah. Yes, we will support our our customers. Yeah. Moreover, a lot of parts of A32 is uh, the same as parts yeah. of A22. Yeah. For example, yes. landing gear is the same. Just the same, yeah. And yeah. drips in, in, in uh, wind drips and so on and yeah. so on. Are all still the same, yeah. Okay, well, um, uh, middle of April, we're holding uh, our first Australia Foxbat fly-in, and uh, I wonder if there's anything you'd like to say to the people coming to the fly-in who own your aircraft and uh, have enjoyed them over the years. Uh, I can say that uh, our airplanes, uh, you know, they re uh, definitely brings. Uh, uh, new opportunities to, uh, to pilots mm -hmm. and I wish to every pilot to enjoy flying our airplanes. All right, that's good, yeah. Well, thank you very much indeed, Yuri. I, I enjoyed it and thank you so much for coming all this way from minus 10 degrees to plus 40 degrees at uh, Avalon. I'm surprised you're not melting here. It's uh, <laughs> very good. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Peter. Thank you are the best. <laughs> <laughs> and you too. Yeah.